Well, I hope um, that psychology is inherently interesting. And I've tried to capitalise on that. So where there are interesting real life examples, I've used them. Uh, and I hope that will capture interest. Obviously the pedagogical features as well that we've already talked about I think will grab people and if people engage with those um, then I think those will add a real dimension of interactivity to using the book. Um, so I, I want people to read this but, also, but read it in quite an active way. Um, I think there's a risk with textbooks that you, you, can, you can read them passively in the same way as you can watch television. Uh, and glean relatively little, but some interesting research on TV watching shows that you can make that um, a really active mental process and learn a lot from it uh, by a process of structured interaction with people around you. So for me, th this is the equivalent of that in a textbook. Critical thinking is critical. Um, I think, and, and, and that's probably the biggest thing that we want students to be able to do, that a textbook has some potential to influence um, that students are not doing naturally. So that, it, it was the single biggest task. Um, I've begun uh, with introductory chapters. So there's actually sections on what makes up psychological thinking and how to go about it um, with, it, with little exercises in, in, in the first couple of chapters. Um, so hopefully my students have got to the, the main content, um, they'll know a little bit about that as well. And I'd encourage lecturers to kind of really push those early chapters for that reason.